The Studio of Documentary Films presents. О таком наверняка мечтают. Many scientists surely dream about this to conduct an experiment with their own hands, which completely confirms their theoretical assumptions. At this moment, on an ordinary coffee table, the process of obtaining carbon structures on an industrial scale using the method of cold destruction of carbon compounds is taking place. This technology reveals the door to the unexplored worlds of science. Only one person in the world is capable of starting this process. Its inventor, Victor Petrik. Our little miracle, an achievement of Russian science. His next experiment was conducted in the presence of five academics and one member of the Russian Academy of Science. The delegation, which was led by the president of the Russian Academy of Sciences, scholar Aldo Shnim, came to visit the scientists from St. Petersburg in regards to the results of his research and take part in the experiments. What appears there seems simple, but here is the very depth of science. Here, everyone look. It is already beginning to work only on an automatic catalyst process. Here it is. See why I call it cold? Well, you bend over. Yes, yes. Viktor Avchirenko, member correspondent of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Brilliant design, without a doubt. It is very saturated, it's substantial, it is not simple. There are many aspects of modern science in its design. It is intensive science. Victor Petrik alone has done what entire institutions and renowned scientific teams have not yet been able to accomplish. This was a victory, and curiously enough, an enduring tragedy of a unique person. They didn't believe him. There were many doubts surrounding his discovery. Sergei Aldashin, Vice President of the Russian Academy of Sciences. The attitude at the beginning was that now they will demonstrate some known things for which there is no future. And then, today, we all took part in this experiment and were convinced that for those events that were shown today, with our participation, it was very serious science. But the most the important thing is the possibility of their practical application, and this is connected with the new materials. The first decade of the 21st century is passing, and in our country they are only still talking about the nano world, showing at various exhibitions dubious novelties. At Petrick Laboratories, there are about 10 scientific discoveries and they are all true nanotechnology, which not one scientific center in Russia could repeat. Please stand in my spot. Try. It's cold. Yes, it's not possible to have a barbecue on it. Opa, now look inside. Now the special part will happen. When there will be a big quantity. And here it is, the cold way to get graphens. Igor Yeremchenko, scholar of the Russian Academy of Sciences. I believe that such developments should not only be welcomed, they should be instantly realized. This is my professional opinion. Viktor Petrik first developed the so-called gas Vtorsalanovaya industrial technology of growing single crystal silicon of heaps formed in the manufacture of fertilizers. The source of such raw materials is practically inexhaustible. It has been tested in Dubna. This is from the gas phase here, now it's growing. This is a kilometer, an ionizer, the aiming beam, the seed grows. And here, the technology system for extracting the platinum group of metals from the waste of metallurgical industries, also the first in the world. Igor Yeremchenko, scholar of the Russian Academy of Sciences, laureate state prize winner of the Russian Federation. The prospects are enormous in my opinion. As a chemist in molecular nanotechnology, I really, really like the brilliantly realized idea. This is the separation of platinum metals using tryptophorcina. The idea is beautiful and it works very well. Victor Petrik also processes nanometals in kilogram quantities, successfully applying them to specific products. Sergei Aldushin, Vice President of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Those experiments in which we are involved are reproducing well. They are not simply that know-how, which can be sort of a virtuosity, which is substitutes real phenomena for visible phenomena. And I think that such work needs to be supported. 
уже внедрены в я создал программу, которая называется никто никогда не может no one can ever use any other brand because one brand reigns supreme the protection of pharmaceuticals it is a matter of national security защита лекарственных препаратов это вопрос национальной безопасности отдельно separate academic pride is a victory over mtbe this is an additive in gasoline which is an octane booster and was very popular in america it got into the water polluting it, and eventually they had to evacuate the whole city. In America, hundreds of scientists have tried to make clean water from MTBE. Victor Petrick invented an original way in four months. American scientists have proposed to me to deal with MTBE. This is why I ventured on it, because I always watch right away. This part everybody did. There is, in theory, nothing for me to do there. I can't in any way do it better, in principle anyway. I have to see where they have not looked. So, a few inventions we see today are built on this principle, and the principle of inversion. Sergei Aldishin, Vice President of the Academy of Sciences. Of course, he is above all a gifted inventor, and of course all these phenomena are good basic science. It may be already known, but not understood how it works here. And certainly, I think the practical side and the fundamental side are clearly next to each other. But the carbon mix of high reaction capability, this is the most important discovery. It has amazing healing and absorbent properties. But he went further, based on the carbon materials consisting of graphens. He learned to make almost a perpetual source of electrical energy. These two plates, created by Victor Petrick, are able to generate electricity from the heat of the surrounding atmosphere. We now assume in advance that this will be positive and that will be negative. So we have two carbon plates pressed from almost pure graphens, and now from this we have to get a working electric battery. The following piece of technology in manufacturing an electric battery in connection with the registration process of opening is a secret. Contrary to any common sense, I think I got an electric battery. How to check it? According to my hypothetical approval, this plate must be positive and that one minus. Accordingly, I secure the negative and look out! Look at the unit. I do not see it. Look what happens. Sergei Aldishin, Vice President of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Indeed, my friends, we have participated in the experiment, starting with the fact that we have made this new material, laid down two plates and got an element. In fact, it was demonstrated that there is an electric current and the voltage is on these plates. Now it shows the stress. There is real stress there. The phenomenon was unusual. The method is also unusual. I think that there is a lot of science, basic science. We'll certainly have to make a connection to these happenings and study these unidentified phenomena. But the facts are really reproducible. In fact, there is a thermal battery. Vladimir Novotorsev, scholar of the Russian Academy of Sciences, director of general and inorganic chemistry. In 15 minutes, a working battery was made that gives you the current and voltage. It depends on what you want to get. Of course, the depth of vision is striking. And the fact that this is a converter of thermal energy into electricity is revolutionary from all sides. It is clear that big investments and more work is needed, but the returns and means of the transformation of the world are very significant. I believe that Viktor Petrik has made a brilliant discovery. Viktor Ivanovich has made a brilliant discovery. Turn on the volts now. Here, it's close. Carefully, the device is not attached. Just in case I'm showing that it, likewise, will be a little less. Also going off scale? Excellent. I'm making a short circuit. See? Graphite. Graphite. I made a short circuit. I confirm. Try. 
Will there be a current? Yeah. No, there is no current. I have removed. Right. Yes. Yeah. You see? That is just what we call making a short circuit. Lord, it can lie for three hours a day, being able to short circuit and it works again. That is not discharge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, but it is still used up a bit, of course, but the physics works. <laughs> Viktor Avchurenka, corresponding member of the Russian Academy of Sciences. It's all about Einstein. In the end, when everything is saturated, so clever. It is fairly simple, but not simpler than actual possible. In fact, there are many complex intellectual things here. If you would like to bend over and breathe out slowly, the pointer fluctuates. Don't take it into your own hands. Very close, and you need to gather up a lot of air. It fluctuates. The breath of the scholar produces energy. The whole world should see this. And now this will be demonstrated visually. I am submitting to the battery heat flow. Lord, there is the Arrhenius formula, we can easily calculate it, but it doesn't follow it at all. I will turn on the heat. Now it goes off scale. Within a few seconds, keep in mind, this thick plate could not warm up. In this we can see the physical meaning in the dynamics of this happening. Well, impressive or what? To me, everything is reproducible. This is a low temperature emission. This is a discovery, and a very serious one at that. Its essence we are all well aware of, the anomalous mobility of electrons in graphens. Accordingly, when we have compressed and gathered them on the surface of the condensed medium, there is an electronic field, so-called plasmons. And why such a reaction? Because we do not heat up the object matter, we brought to the surface a plasmon field. Accordingly, very low, abnormally low work output allows electrons to move to another environment. Accordingly, she joined through electrons. Here we have received plus and here minus. Here's our difference and our current capabilities. And I believe that the insane number of experiments that I've conducted describe the essence of the phenomenon. Igor Yeremenko, scholar of the Russian Academy of Sciences and state prize winner of the Russian Federation. Here, of course, is everything that I present in the materials, because graphens in such a way as this in the world would have never been obtained. And before our eyes, these plates were actually made, varying the density, and so to say, this is a battery that is, well, so far no limitations in time when it stops working. In my opinion, it is almost eternal. I would say out loud that humanity is entering a new energy sector. Because it's enough, by my calculations, 10 plates at a distance from each other by one centimeter, to preserve the natural correction. 10 plates meter to meter. This is such a battery. Look, and it gives one kilowatt. And we can easily see with our insight the territory of the desert in Kuwait, a big black cube. And we can always sell to Kuwait a bit of our electrical energy, which is worthless. Because this is what you saw, it's very cheap. We can make it all from the land, but still it needs to be discharged. The battery, it still runs out of power, that's true, but at the same time it will charge up again from that amount of heat that surrounds us. Vladimir Novotorsov, scholar of the Russian Academy of Sciences and director of general and inorganic chemistry. I'm comparing it to Edison. 
Edison was not such a brilliant scientist, but he was a genius inventor. Viktor Ivanovich has the same talent in various fields. Viktor Avcherenka, corresponding member of the Russian Academy of Sciences. How fast until it will be applied in real life? It is a pity that this can be a typical Russian situation and it will take a long time. And it can be realized an infinite number of times by the most fantastic of means. After receiving official support from the scientific community, Viktor Petrik is already thinking about the next scientific breakthrough. Look, I guide it by my hand. You see? Shade falls. And this is its reaction. If you take a step forward, it should respond to your shade. Its sensitivity is. You see? Его чувствительность вы видите. Это прибор. This device produces energy from the middle of the visible range. От средней части видимого диапазона. Ну, естественно, что мы можем показать. Of course we can show it. And with the response to the heat? Certainly not. Показываю. Let's show. Видите, но самое интересное. But the most interesting thing, I'll show you from behind. Видите, вот. No. You see here? What is the glass made of? Its device? On the surface, titanium is seized by my method of gas extraction. More? A color of what you see. It is ruthenium. I showed it the bottom. It dissolves. I lubricate a lot of times and it becomes this color. Inside, it's iodine. I need iodine as an oxidizer. And from this side, platinum is caused by our method. It is calculated at one square kilometer for the battery. I needed less than a gram of platinum. Do you understand? Titanium is worthless. Ruthenium needs one gram. And I see no reason to think that it could fail or have any shortcomings. This is not my discovery. It is a discovery of nature because it is the same oxidative process that occurs in plants. The main objective of the Russian scientist is that its technologies begin working for the benefit of people and his country. While everyone else talks about nanotechnology, Viktor Petrik lives and works in the nano world. Moscow, June 2009.